Have you set aside a date to get started? You know, a date like your birthday or New Year's Day, where then you'll really get started on that intention or that goal that you have for yourself. Welcome to the Inspire series. My name is Sylvia Mordini and I'm the founder of Life Inspired. I get it. I've been there as well, thinking, well, if I just wait until that date and then I begin, that'll make it all better. That'll increase my chances for success and achieving that goal. And that'll prepare me mentally, emotionally, physically to begin at the beginning. But here's the thing, don't wait. <laughs> the only thing that's gained by waiting is you lose time, time that you cannot get back. So for instance, if you're waiting until New Year's Day to then begin eating better and really uh, being focused on your nutrition, whatever that may mean for you, well, why would you delay eating better so that you have greater energy, your moods are more stabilized, and that you feel like you're maintaining equilibrium and your strength is returning? Why would you wait to receive all those benefits until this arbitrary date of the first of the year. Why not start amping up your nutrition today? And it's the same with exercise. It's hard to understand why we would wait however many days or weeks, especially when we get towards the end of a year and we're like, oh no, no, let's wait until the first day of the year and then I'll go back to the gym. Then I'll start exercising again. I'll start going for walks. I'll start doing some push-ups at home. I'll start lifting those little weights at home. But you know what you're gonna get if you start now? If you start now, instead of waiting, you're gonna get stronger. You're gonna get better sleep. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna have more energy. You're gonna increase your flexibility. You're gonna just mentally and emotionally feel all around better because we know that movement practices, forms of exercise, improve the quality of life on all levels. So why would you wait to get all those things? Waiting means you're just delaying getting stronger and feeling more fit and more confident in your body and sleeping better and feeling like some mental relief from stress and overwhelm because we know that exercise will achieve those things. So what is to be gained? What is the narrative that's going around in your mind that says you should wait to begin your fitness regimen until the first of the year. It doesn't make any logical sense. Or maybe you're waiting to sleep better. Maybe you're waiting to start journaling. Maybe you're waiting until this arbitrary date of the first of the year to then get serious about your plans and your intentions for the coming year. Here's the thing, the time to do that is right now. Don't wait until the first of the year. Life is happening now. Every single moment we're losing the opportunity to create intentions that matter to us, that prioritize our health and happiness and peace of mind. Waiting is not going to get you more clear, is not going to help you move your pen to paper as you journal about your intentions. There's nothing that's gained by waiting. You know, I love what Brené Brown says, you get courage by couraging, <laughs> right? Life is active. So if you want to feel stronger in your body, then begin the fitness regimen today. If you want to feel like your nutrition is really amped up so that it is helping you support the life and the lifestyle that you most deserve and most require, well then, Start today, whether it's your water program, whether it's starting to journal. If you've been waiting to meditate, you're like, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna start to put aside one minute a day, three minutes a day, five minutes a day. 
January 1st. You're missing all this opportunity to have a calm mind. Waiting 15 more days before you begin a meditation program means that you're losing the opportunity to be a completely different version of yourself in 15 days from now. Who you will be, who you will become in 15 days from meditating one, three, five minutes a day starting now for the next 15 days. I mean, that is priceless. You will certainly change your brain chemistry, meditating on a daily basis. I mean, MRIs prove that, that there is a distinct outcome that arises from those that meditate. So if you want that, there is nothing to be gained only everything to be lost by not starting right now. Because if you, it's, it's almost like um, we're in a boat and it has a hole in it. And we're like, you know what? I just want to concentrate on figuring out how the boat got the hole. What does it really matter? The first most important thing is literally plug the hole. Let's do something about that right now. There is a state of urgency that occurs if we're able to look at a situation more clearly. And so waiting until the beginning of the year, whether it's three days, seven, 10, 15, 21 days away, just means by the time you get there, the boat it will have sunk. If you're on that last leg, if you are feeling fatigued, you are literally like a cup of water about to flow over that in Ayurveda we know is disease. You are preventing a worsening of the situation and the condition that you're in. You're preventing the problem that is just a little tweak right now from becoming something even bigger that then will require more time and more energy to heal from versus doing something today, right now. No more waiting, no more waiting. Plug the boat with the hole in it and find a way to gain greater health, vitality, peace of mind, stronger body, greater flexibility, more calm, reduced stress, reduced anxiety. Right now, the future is not guaranteed anyway. Do you really want to think that you were waiting 5, 10, 15, 20, 21 days until you could really start living your life, until you could start feeling better when none of us knows our expiration date? What if all that waiting, what occurs is that the last days are in suffering when we didn't have to suffer. You are sovereign and empowered to stop waiting and to do something today. Begin the journaling, start the meditation program, start getting more sleep, drink more water, start moving your body Begin your strength training program. Whatever it is that you already have in your mind, let's get started. This is your reminder. And so save this and listen to it for maybe in a day you'll forget. You'll be like, ah, oh, yeah, no, maybe I should still keep waiting. Don't wait. The reason is that I feel so strongly about this reminder is that I know personally what it's like to wait too long. I've waited too long for most things. And then it became too late. I don't want that to be you. <laughs> and so whatever it may be, go after it right now. Go meet that beloved soulmate that you've been calling in. Start that new business. 
take the first steps to beginning to walk that marathon. But start today. It's the only way for life is active and you are the conductor of your own life. You are the storyteller of your life. So write it the way that you want and be actively involved in the telling and unfolding of your own story. Bring your hands to heart, take a big breath in, open mouth, exhale, and then just bring your right hand up and just repeat after me, I promise to stop waiting. Sign that as if it's an invisible contract in the air. Send it off. You have now filed it away and you've made that promise from yourself to yourself and I've witnessed you. From my heart to your heart to the heart of the beautiful universe we live in, may you love yourself love your day and love your life. If you've been inspired by this video, please don't forget to subscribe below and share out with your friends. I would really appreciate that. Have a beautiful day. No more waiting. Peace out, everybody.